lower Crathus is classed as a lower river beat. Uh, we're about 20 miles from Aberdeen and we're four miles below Bankery. Uh, lower Crathus is, I would say, very lucky in the sense that we've got double bank fishing for most of it. It's two and a half miles on the south bank and a mile and a half on the north bank. Uh, we caught salmon throughout the season, but uh, spring salmon and lower Crathus are associated together. And uh, if we've got a good level, which we've got today, I mean, this is ideal spring water that we've got. And uh, the only difference this time of year is a bit coloured. But in the springtime, this would be running very clear and we'd be very hopeful of catching a spring salmon today. I'm Robert Harper. I'm a head gilly in Lower Crathus and I have been now for over 20 years. One thing with Lower Crathus is that we fish four rods in the spring, which gives us a mass of water. It's one of the real attractions for anglers. Not only do we have some very good pools, um, but they get a lot of fishing. When we've got this sort of height of water, four rods can't actually fish the beat. So you know there's water that hasn't been fished in front of you. The chances of seeing somebody on the other side is slim. And our job really is to take an angler to the best possible places for catching a salmon. And the big part of the knowledge is knowing the heights in the certain places to go. You can start at the top of the river and probably catch a fish all the way through, but when you've got so much to fish at, I think the gilly's knowledge on that level is quite valuable. And whether it be a new angler or an old one, you're on a companion, you want to make that experience really good, and that's what we hope that we actually do. I do have a favourite, it's probably the bridge pool, but all the other pools in their own height have got their own real value and they're, they're just so good. And we've got so much water, like so today for the mill pool which is just above us um, you would have a chance of a salmon there into the bridge actually today the bridge isn't a very good height but you go into the kelpie the green bank and into the bulwark and they are all good and that's just where our job comes in it's making sure we're in the right places and in, in the right places in the pool um, to catch these fish so probably the truth is the beat is my favorite um, because they've all got their own value at particular heights Lower Crathus itself really has one main hut where we meet in the morning, come back for lunch and spend our time when we need a chat or a dram. Um, we do have another three huts but we don't actually use those to any great degree. The access is fairly good, we've got roads to all our pools. Um, we would say you don't have to walk very far so it's quite comfortable. The anglers themselves enjoy the beat because we don't have much difficult wading. We have a lot of bank fishing. Like so today, most of it would be off the bank with one or two very easy wading places. So there's something for everybody um, when they come here. Fish. Over the years, I've seen one 30 pounder, believe it or not, and I haven't been involved in that. I've landed a few 28s, 27s, and all the way back down. But 30 is the biggest one I've actually seen landed. That's it. Well done. Recent years, um, the bigger fish have started to come back with the spring salmon. You can see each year we're starting to get bigger fish again. And this year has been one of our best. Um, we've had a 25, several 24s, and all the way back down again. So it's good to see these multi-sea winter fish. Sea trout fishing um, can be good in Lower Crathus, but it's very dependent on the water. Sea trouties like to scoot through us at times, but at this sort of levels we've got just now, they feel comfortable, and some very good sea trout fishing can be had. In the springtime, it was a good flow coming through the river, so you'd be looking to come with 15 foot rods, 14, 15 foot rods, varying lines. You really must come with sunk lines, sunk tips, even floaters, but floaters are slightly later in the season. Traditionally, the black and yellow, the tosh in the springtime, that's what I started with, and it's still one of the best flies you can fish probably anywhere in Scotland for spring fish. But things move on. 
and you've got a alley shrimp, the cascade. Cascade is now one of the most popular flies anywhere, but it's used a lot here at Lower Carathas. Tackle nowadays has changed so dramatically. It's trying to get your head round all the different bits that we've got, but that's, that's fishing. We would at Lower Carathas love to see some of the youngsters coming back with their parents um, to actually try their luck on the day to catch a salmon give them that real experience and real thrill of that real flying round and just dad shouting and screaming as I do myself. Um, my two sons have both now caught, caught salmon and I just lose the plot when, when they actually hook a fish. And that's what it's about. It's, it's families enjoying great time outdoors, out in the riverside, fishing, trying to catch a salmon. So it just would be fantastic to see more youngsters of that age having the opportunity even, and we would encourage them at any time to, to come to Lower Crathers. This is my life, this is where I want to be. If there's salmon to be caught, I want to see them caught in Lower Crathers, in numbers and bigger sizes. So I'm very content, have been for a long time, and this is my place. <laughs>